Hi everybody, I really don't <clears throat> keep a lot of picking videos on my uh, channel, but this is a Dom. I also have an Avis uh, Eurocore that I got from a uh, lot fumbler uh, from the only, um, actually the only uh, giveaway I ever won. Uh, anyways, uh, it took me a while to actually learn these, but I've learned them and uh, See, it's got a gnarly looking keyway. It's still kind of open. We have to pick off of that ledge there to get to the key pins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we'll go, we're going to pick the long side so you can see the actuator over here. Um, let's see, I'll be using a, if I can find it, there it is, one millimeter uh, tension tool from Multi Pick. Uh, and uh, we'll go. We'll go clockwise. Uh, I used to use this to kind of pick the fault set open, tickle the fault set open with uh, this uh, small small hook notched from Kicks Picks. Uh, I call this one particularly, I call it Twiggy. So we're going to see if we can tickle it into a little bit of a fault set. <clears throat> and if, if not, we'll go straight to the Terry B's and... Let's see what we're gonna get right here. There we go. There's our fault set. Now after I come in here with that, I get it for the key, a little bit more fault set. And it's hunt the spool for the, the binding one. And of course, it will be kind of rotation here. Popped, and now I just move up touch to a little bit and it moved a little bit more and I gotta get the key pin number one and that should be the open if I find it and sometimes I tend to slip off of it unless it's done right, there it is I moved, slipped off of it uh, almost mm. Yeah, the good thing about a good lock is really the keyway and the warding to limit what you can do with a pick. I'm going to go back in and try to find it again that way. But it took many times for me to finally get consistent on getting opens. The other side, I wouldn't have had this open by now, but I wanted you to see the actuator. That's not it. Yeah, I've done lost my false set now. Let's see if I can tickle it back between. Just add it and I lost it because. There we go. All right. There we have number three. I got to hit again. Yep. I just got that one. Sometimes you have to take a bigger hammer to it, I guess, and gain it, slightly gain it back. And uh, that warding I'm trying to pick off of that ledge, and it's not letting me get to it. Not easily, though. Step warding, I think. Ah, well, it looks like this is going to. There we go. Now, fire my other one. Usually, by 
time I get that fault set, I have two pin, two spools I have to deal with. But that's not the case on this particular pick. So we're going to see what we can get. Set, set, set. All of those are set. Just looking for my counter rotation. Once I find that counter rotation, that's my spool. And I think that it was the one I'm looking for. But there we go. Like I said, it was the one in the front. Just have to pretty much get it right and get the open. Uh, the short side, I've been able to get a lot quicker, a lot easier. Um, why not go ahead? We'll throw the Avis this time. We'll do the short side on it. Get the key right here. It works fine. this one if this one fits in this one yeah if it does and we're just going straight out with the uh terry b pick this one as soon as i get the fault set on it find it it's a uh, there we go a little bit of a fault set started messing with the uh, actuator. Uh, just find out, start going through the stack. Yep. And I'm picking off this ledge on this side. And kind of rotating it back onto it. And I just lost my fault set when I did that. So I gotta try to find it and get it all back now. stuff here okay go back so I can gain it and in the beginning when I first done this lock I take Twiggy and see if I can take the default set which might be the case I'm gonna have to do and I might have to reset but you know it's all a part of the process wash rinse and repeat you know what we'll just reset it some crunches and some clickiness but nothing definitive <clears throat> we're just gonna go ahead and go back to this one uh, was that it uh, there we go a little bit of false set off earlier and a little move middle just by touching that one uh, pin one and we're open that's uh, pretty much on that one I don't know what series these are and there goes my tension tool I don't know what series these are but they are Fun locks. I haven't gutted them. I don't know what's in them, but I will. That's the Avis. I will be cutting these in half, uh, so there'll be a short side, which would be this side and a long side. Um, a lot of people usually, you know, it just really depends. But I need to get some of the uh, feeler gauge material that uh, the lock picker sixty nine, well nineteen sixty nine, uh, talked about one of his videos. For like these longer sections, you can actually cut from a, a roll, a strip, a feeler gauge that is you know the same size as the uh, shims that we use to pretty much the length. And uh, that's probably what I'll do. And I'll include some of those. So once I decide to turn these into challenge locks, you know, I, I might file this down, get to the caps and knock them out. But I just might. Just keep it simple and uh, do my mods in the core with some nasty pins. Uh, but uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for my video. 
Um, I hope this uh, helps my friend out, you know, with uh, her adventure in the lock sport. Um, you know, that's pretty much uh, why I'm actually making a lot of these uh, picking videos so she can see what I what, she, what I do and what other people do. I've been giving her people links to channels of videos that, you know, when she asks questions, I said, look, here you go. Check these people out. So, you know, um, anyways, I think that's pretty much it on this. Uh, everybody, hope you have a great Saturday. Uh, Y'all take care. My best to you all. Bye.